All right, my friends, a new dash cam to unbox and review for you in real time once I get this thing in place. So here it is. Just got this in the mail from 70 My. Well, you can see how it's spelled. Uh, view into the future. I'm excited about putting this thing on. 360 degree recording, motion tracking, superb night vision, it says. Full featured parking mode, built in voice assistant. Also in the box is this, the hardware kit. USB-C port right there. And the rest will be wired in if I use this. Hello there. If your vehicle still has a cigarette lighter, it's like you can use that as a way to double for a USB. This tool here will help you put the cable inside the, the door frame, I think. Kind of hard to see this, but this little sticky pad, I think, is a, a frame to put on your window so you know how to mount. Installing your dash cam. Looks like, yeah, it's a mount of some kind. Little sticky pad there. This is the user manual. This is the sticking pad for your windshield. There's the lens. So this little R2-D2 unit, <laughs> it opens up. Right there, I remember seeing some product information. This will help you angle it. Depends on the angle of the windshield on how you want to point it and where you point it. And here's that lens that goes all the way around. Power button, once I get it charged up. Nice little screen right here, a little LCD screen. And there's the charging port, which I'll charge up right now. Oh, cool, the camera's working. Ah, I need to connect the app first. The app has been downloaded. Time to open it up. Agree. All right, I just signed up and registered. Now I need to add a device. Okay, looks like I found it right here. Connecting. Press the power button to authorize. Press the power button to authorize. Got a thumbs up. Directly connected. Open the dash cam. All right. Connect to the dash cam hotspot. Open the dash cam hotspot. Ah. So it says here to put the electrostatic stickers on the windshield. Fix the dash cam to that windshield protective sticker. Then calibrate the position of the dash cam. And then after that, you are complete. Enter the function settings. Now on my phone, which is recording, I can face this app myself. And there's me, and it's on the camera. I can turn around the room and record stuff. On the app, if I hit the arrows here, the camera lens moves. So I can adjust the camera lens manually as it circles around. And now the other way. Please ensure that the front left and right lanes are covered on the screen. That just went 360 degrees. That is cool. And now it's back at me. Nice. So parking surveillance cable is not installed. Parking surveillance function cannot be used. Enable it in the dash cam settings after you install it, okay? When the dash cam is running, it says, Following voice commands are supported. Shoot left, shoot right, take photo, shoot emergency video, take selfie, shoot vlog, shoot inside, stop audio, record audio, 
Disable Hotspot, Enable Hotspot. Voice and power key will be disabled while the app is accessing the dash cam. Got it. All right, inside the truck now, ready to install my 70 my dash cam. So I've got my sticky here, which I'm gonna place in this direction here. And it's going to stick on approximately right here. And then when it's flush, approximately, then it should be go all the way around out of my view, but enough to go all around, around the car. So that's my spot. So place this here. And they give you two of these and this, so it's a little easier to take off the device when it's time. So now I'm gonna take off the blue and then face it on the circle, which should be easy enough. There. Good, good, good. It's gonna plug it into the USB for now. There it is, it's all plugged into the USB. Now it's turning around. I'm gonna snap the mount back on. There we go. It's recording. Let's go ahead and get the phone lined up as well. According to my phone here, directly connecting the dash, boom. Connect to the dash cam hotspot. Don't need to really do that. Open the dash cam hotspot. I guess we'll go ahead and jo join that. Awesome, awesome. Voice and power key will be disabled while the app is accessing the dash cam. Don't remind me again, and got it. Okay, there we go. Now we are live, and an update package available. Push it to the dash cam, yes. Push now. The device will stop recording while receiving that. Push, okay. Receiving upgrade package. Upgrade package received. Start recording a video. Upgrading. Do not disconnect from power source. Push successfully. Got it. All right, the dash cam is showing on the display there that it's recording. And now on my phone, I should have a monitor popping up showing the view from the cam. And there it is. Now from the app, I can use the arrows right and left. Here's, for example, right. Hold it down and the camera goes to the right and I can re see everything on that side. Down to the left and it records and shows and pans to the left. It should be able to pan all the way back, far left and then far right. It's also on screen, time stamped. Hey, it comes all the way back to me. There we go. So that's awesome. Go back to center. even uh, go full screen here. Let's go ahead and take a little drive. I'll address this cable later, but I just want to give the demo of what this looks like while we're driving. Picture quality looks really good. Steady. Yeah, I like how it's 
right there. It's not uh, obstructing my eye line. I have a live view on my app. So far, so good. Made it back to the house. Now, just gonna back up and then we'll go over some voice commands. <laughs> All right, back inside the app now, and these three icons here, you got the photo, this one in the middle is video, and this is tripod head is calibrating, please operate later. Calibration is successful, nice. All right, now if I put the, hit the middle one, it allows me to go into the album where I can look at all the footage that's been recorded on the device. It's got a little timeline, this is today, I'm gonna scan forward, and now you should be able to see when I was recording, once the car was started, once the device is going on, and I can see everything I recorded earlier. There's driving footage now. I can go back a few days and I was in the car in a different vehicle. This is actually a Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I was just doing a little test here, holding the camera in my hand, because I want to do a little test before I mounted it on this vehicle here. So you can see what I'm doing, scanning it, driving it, clear picture. So they got loop recording options, emergency recording. So the green is loop. Categories, all the videos, a photo or two. There's one photo. I was just testing it out last week. So keep track of those things when you hit the photos. Photo from inside the car. And now let's experiment with the voice commands. Shoot left. So it's recording to the left for eight to 10 seconds, actually 10 seconds there. Shoot right. It scans the right and records 10 second emergency video. Shoot vlog. Starting from the preset angle on the left, tripod head will slowly rotate and record a 10 second video. Get ready to say hi to the camera. Oh, it's not pointed at me. Oh, here it comes. Hello camera, three, two, one. So that's been saved. There is the take, take selfie. Tripod head will turn to the present angle inside the vehicle and take a photo. There you go, a little countdown. This is great stuff here under the user guide. So here in the event folder, when I said video right, the camera went to the right and recorded for 10 seconds. Same thing on the other one. And then there's the vlog. When I told it to vlog. And then I can download this again to my device. This is all within the app right now. That's pretty cool. So simple voice commands. And there's our photo we saw, <laughs> Mr. Cheesy. And again, if I want to save that to my photo album, download to your mobile phone, yes, I'll view it later. And then all videos have been saved here. So now I can go back throughout my timeline and see everything that was recorded during the day. If there's anything special for insurance purposes, I can look back on this and then save it to my phone and use it if I need to. This camera also offers superb night vision. The F1.5 large aperture enhances image quality in low light conditions. It's equipped with a Purcell Plus S HDR technology to deliver best in class low light performance, automatically correcting exposure levels. It achieves a dynamic range of up to 120 dB, thus providing excellent color performance under ultra high contrast conditions such as entering and exiting tunnels and helps enormously elevate video quality without blinding front cars license plates with strong headlights. Here's another impressive feature with this camera. It has an exclusive AI-based human detection algorithm which prevents false triggers. It identifies approaching or retaining still suspiciousness more precisely, then initiates a up to 30 second recording and keeps following. There's also collision detection. When
When a collision or an incident is detected, the exclusive collision detection algorithm automatically locates, then turns toward the direction and records up to one minute footage while parking. It's your eyewitness that recalls the complete details and prevents hit and run behavior, helps your car's accident claims as well when it comes to insurance. There's also time-lapse recording. Shoot a still photo every second during parking mode. Compress every 30 minutes into one minute to have a quick overview of any critical moments or catch a beautiful scene. Also, it can save memory card space, lower battery usage, as well as allow much faster playback. I think the most valuable piece for me would be the voice commands. So I'm not, I'm not looking at my phone while I'm driving. If I need to, there's something going on real quickly. I can use the commands as you see them here on screen. I don't want to say it because then it'll do it. Um, but whether it's the selfies, the photos, recording. <laughs> there it is, it's recording. Stop audio. Dash cam will not record audio, but only videos. Record audio and so on. Anyways, I think this would be the easiest thing uh, for most people to use when they're out and about if they need to do something very, you know, on the, on the spot. So pretty cool stuff with this dash cam. Um, I'm liking it already. And this is just my, you know, my first week with it. I'll keep using it because it's pretty cool. Anyways, for more information about this unit and details and to get yourself one, click the link below this video. And I uh, hope it helps out. Thanks for watching. Adios.